have the Xiaomi Redmi K30 Pro right here. And this is a device that I got because it was an affordable device that had the Snapdragon 865 chipset in it. But I'm not a fan of MIUI, and I'm hoping to get a some good AOSP based custom ROMs on the device. So to do that, I first need to know what the code name for this device is. So I want to show you two different ways that you can find the code name for your Android smartphone or tablet. Because during this process, I also found out that the Redmi K30 Pro is also known as the Poco F2 Pro. So the first method of finding this out is through the Play Store with an application called Device ID. And you're, as you can see, there's gonna be a lot of applications named Device ID. I like the one from developer code KeyM.com with the green and white icon right there. This is a simple free application that when downloaded and opened you can see that you're going to see a device code name option, which tells us the code name for this device is LMI. And whenever I Google things like Android or XDA code name LMI, I pull up the Poco F2 Pro as well as things for the Redmi K30 Pro. Now another method of finding what the code name for your device is requires that you have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on your PC and that you have a USB cable that you can connect to the device. We then need to boot the device into Fastboot mode, otherwise known as bootloader mode. For this device I'm just holding the volume down button during the boot cycle and that's going to boot us into fast boot mode. Other devices may have different instructions and I know even Samsung devices do not have a fast boot mode, they use download mode. So if your device has a fast boot mode or a bootloader mode and you can use Google to find out how to access it you're going to need to boot into that, and then you're going to need to connect your PC to that device with a USB cable, and then open up a command prompt, Windows PowerShell, or a terminal to execute a specific command. If you are curious about this method and have not yet installed ADB and Fastboot tools, be sure to check in the video description, as I'll have a link for a tutorial that shows you how to install that on your PC. So like you saw, we have our phone in fast boot mode. We have it connected to the PC with a USB cable. And then we have opened up a command prompt within our ADB and fast boot tools folder. And if you want, you don't have to, if you want, you can execute the command fast boot space devices just to make sure you get a response right there. Not required, but it's just good to see that you actually have a connection via fastboot before you execute a fastboot command. Not a big deal though. The actual command you want to execute is fastboot space git var, that's G-E-T-V-A-R space product. And I'm going to have this command in the video description as well, just in case you want to copy and paste it from there. Once we type out, type out that three word command, we're just press enter on the keyboard. And that gives us, it returns us a product name, a code name for the device that we have currently connected, which again, as you saw in that app is LMI. So whenever I go and look for custom ROMs and mods, I'm just going to look for devices that match the LMI codename. 
which is also important anytime I need to download a firmware, which I will soon be transferring this device over to the Poco F2 Pro firmware since that is the global firmware. So that is how to find the codename for your Android smartphone or tablet with either an application or with ADB and fastboot tools.